Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core, and today we're going to be talking about Watch Dogs 2 and the next Assassin's Creed game. So everything I'm going to be talking about is actually rumours, nothing has been officially confirmed from Ubisoft. So Kotaku released this article just last night and gave us quite a lot of potential information about the next Assassin's Creed, so let's go over that first. So this actually came from a post on 4chan from a supposed Ubisoft dev who said, Egypt, there won't be an Assassin's Creed in 2016. You may screen cap this and refer to it when nothing is shown at E3 2016. You'll have to wait for it until 2017. And the reason it's going to be a complete revamp of the series, the game is going to get a more of a Witcher feel with player progression, a free form combat system, horses back and boats too. It's made by the Black Flag team. And then he went on to release a bunch of other spoilers about the game. Now, obviously, I wouldn't just report on any random person on the internet just impersonating a Ubisoft employee, but Kotaku have a very good history of reporting on accurate leaks, especially from Ubisoft games in particular. And it's definitely worth noting that this would actually be the first year in six years that we haven't seen an Assassin's Creed game every year. So I think since 2009, uh, there's been an Assassin's Creed every single year. And from what it sounds like, Jason Shire, who wrote this Kotaku article, he seemed pretty positive about the Egypt setting, and he had three independent sources who are apparently familiar with the ongoings at Ubisoft, who all confirmed the same setting and codename, which is Empire. So I found a summarised version of the other details that were released, so I'm going to go over those for you guys if you're interested about the next Assassin's Creed. So they want to get the least amount of historical documentation to get freedom. The story is going to be set before the Assassins and the Templars even existed, so it's basically going to be a prequel to all Assassin's Creed games. He goes on to say the biggest difference about this one is how colourful it is. There's going to be blue skies, lush vegetations and desert sequences. And you also have a pet eagle that you can control as well. Apparently there's also going to be boats in this one. It's not going to be quite like Assassin's Creed Black Flag with the whole combat system. It's going to be more um, for navigation and you'll have some interiors that you can enter for quests. And at the end he also said that online co-op has been completely cut from the series for the time being and he's not sure if it will ever come back. So that's quite an important point to make. I know there was quite a lot of people disappointed in the last Assassin's Creed that you weren't able to actually play that in co-op. So that's quite a lot of information to sink in, guys. Just bear in mind that none of this has been officially confirmed by Ubisoft at this stage. It's still a rumour. And it will be interesting to see in E3 this year how much of this is true. And, uh, you know, if nothing's mentioned about Assassin's Creed, we can assume that we won't be seeing an Assassin's Creed in 2016. Now, right at the end of the Kotaku article, they added uh, just one sentence about Watch Dogs, which I'm quite surprised about because it seems like quite a big deal. And they mentioned that a possible substitution for Assassin's Creed would be Watch Dogs in 2016, so Watch Dogs 2, possibly. And he added that it was going to be set in San Francisco. So I don't know about you guys, but I would definitely love to see another Watch Dogs game. I had a lot of fun in the first one, despite the controversies about the downgrades and stuff. I definitely enjoyed the game, and a lot of the multiplayer elements as well were pretty unique and awesome. So don't forget to leave the video a like if you did enjoy, and let me know down in the comments, are you potentially excited if they do delay Assassin's Creed an extra year, or even change up their whole development cycle to bring in Assassin's Creed every second year, rather than every single year from here on. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.